This is crazy. I've already have an anniversary of two deaths in my life in this month. First back in 2021, you know, the, the year that I got COVID after coming back from a friend's home going service. And he passed away in December and I had to scramble to get to the funeral because he was my friend and someone who I mentored to have his own television show when I had my own show. Then turn around, at the same time, only last year, and before I was set to go to PodFest, and before I was supposed to, to give a poster catcher talk, I, and it was literally on my mind last night about JV. And remembering how he passed away because of uh, uh, Lyme disease via suicide. And he died of suicide. I don't say commit suicide because I like you're committing a crime. We got to end the stigma there. And it's really, it's really painful for me that I had to go through this again. And then on top of that. I had to spend yet another Christmas without my late wife. And then now it probably look like uh, Queen Elect and maybe uh, the princess. Because now I had told three people that not only that this is a bad month for me, my PTSD is not, uh, acting up. This is bringing me abandonment issues because it just started with my late wife because... You know, we were in our one-year marriage, and, um, you know, we were going to be there for each other. But then, on a sad day, she left me for heaven. And then, fast forward. Yeah, fast forward. I had a uh, queen elect that said she was going to be there for me because I told her how rough it is for me at this time because Christmas was my late wife's favorite holiday. Uh, I knew it was bad. I knew it was bad when she didn't show up for Thanksgiving, and that was the the week that a car uh car broke down on her. Um, you know, cleaner like I, aka uh, aka uh, Janet. By the way, the names have changed to protect the innocent. And there was another princess who I just. Just promoted, just li just literally, literally just promoted. And then the other day, she didn't show up. The last time I saw her was doing that morning, yesterday morning. Had morning meds, but didn't have at the uh, evening meds. And then this morning, didn't have uh, morning meds until I called the uh, text of the landlord. It's like, uh, what's going on? Um, the, uh, the nurse didn't sh uh, show up for work today and last night. And then my PTSD started struggling. And I mean, now remind you, my PTSD started uh, when my late wife passed away. But now, there was one time when I, I lived in a building where there was three landlord changes. And then the last time, and then when the pandemic and everything like that, and it stopped me from going to High Street Church, and I had the last thought, and then, well, they were going to put me out anyway, but uh, I, I, it just keep it was like a revolving door of landlords. And then turn around, when at first it was the Princess Elect, then it was the, I mean, first it was the Queen Elect, a.k.a. Janet. Uh, second was the, the Princess, uh, who I just promoted. Uh, I haven't thought of a name yet. I can't think of a name yet because she obviously is not here. I can't even think of a, a, a protected name for her. And the landlord brother had to come in. Yeah. The landlord brother had to come in and help. 
So my flashbacks is coming back from the time of the landlord to to uh, the three landlords and have to keep getting the same information, telling the same thing. I'm not in the hospital. I, like that's like I wasn't in the hospital at, at the time. I was in an apartment. I'm not in a hospital. I'm in a group home. It just it happened that they had nurses because people here take meds. People here take meds. Then, on top of that, the anniversary of two deaths. One that is my late, uh, no, yeah, one that was my late friend, um, Tom o. Jackson. I can't say his name. I am allowed to say his name. Second, JV of JV and the good Elvis of the dog house. And now there's another death on the same week that I just, that JV popped in my mind. The same week, other though it's different circumstances. Um, we, know, we lost Norman L. The iconic producer and director who did such shows as All in the Family and Chief Justice's favorite, one of Chief Justice's favorite, and then it looked like it's the um, favorite of the group home, which is Sanford and Son. And and then um, good times. He passed away at age of either one hundred or one one. And this story is just breaking out in the midst of my craziness, while I'm trying to fact figure out what the hell is going on. At the midst of all this craziness, uh, what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to get the NFL pick up first, and then I'm going to read the story of what happened. Uh, and then I'm going to do separate. I'm about to, I might read the story again, but I'm going to do the next week NFL pick up, so to buy me more time to do uh, the aftermath of uh, week 13. Is that fair enough? I'm, I'm, I'm flabbergasted. I'm literally flabbergasted, and I'm having abandonment issues. After my late wife left to be with the Lord, then Queen Elect Janice left because of car issues that she could, I guess she couldn't come, uh, wasn't able to come back to work. I mean, I know that's happened to me one time when I was sick, but that's a different story. And I can't drive. And then the princess newly put a uh, newly, newly, newly promoted princess. Up to vanish. People in my life are just vanishing. They're just vanishing. And after they said that they were going to be there, I'm at my vulnerable point. Christmas is coming up. My late wife's favorite holiday is coming up. I'm sitting on two death anniversary. Two, two, not one, two. And now we lost the creator, the creator of some iconic show. You know, good time on the family, stand for the sun. And it, this is just too much. This is just too much. This is really too much. I really, really. This is just too much. I would do. Let me do the NFL p predictions for week fourteen, and then then that the uh, the next day or when I do the week thirteen. I don't know how I'm going to calm down for this because I'm having flashbacks right now. I'm having flashbacks of telling people what's happened and then just keep signing new le leases every time a new landlord comes in. And then, you know, I, I, I'm having literally having flashbacks and then finding everything out. It's just I'm vulnerable. I'm literally vulnerable right now. I'm truly vulnerable. I said, let me get this, get through this podcast Get this out. At least I can have it for the uh, the uh, this week's games. Let's just get to it, and then I'll read the story. Okay. <sighs> and pe again, for the new citizens that just came in, pay no attention to the alarm. I can't do anything about the alarm uh, that's chirping. Oh no, yeah, it still works. It still works, even though the battery's chirping. Like the the battery need to be changed. It still works. I think I told somebody on the... Okay. 
Week 14. Already a ride or die on the Thursday night football, which is the 7 15. It's going to be the Steelers versus the uh, March Arch, uh, Arch Memphis. The Pats. You know who I'm going to go to? Easy out, easy pickings. Um, it's the Steelers. No doubt about that. All right. Okay, this should be a good double down. Okay. And I already know who's going to be the head because it's one of my official teams. And then it's now my home team now. Uh, it's the Tex I'm talking about the Texans versus the Jets. Uh, and then the Sun these Sunday games is 12 o'clock until I say otherwise. But Texans is going to be the head and the Jets is going to be the tails. Already, there's another, there's another ride or die. Uh, the Ravens versus the Traders that left St. Louis without a team, meaning that we had to, uh, to um, all cheer for the uh, Kansas City Chiefs. I'm gonna tell us with a K Taylor Tyler K, K uh, Travis K. Why do I keep calling calling tra uh, Travis K? Who would in my dream as a bully who threatened my life? Anyway. But I'm going with the Ravens all the way. I'm all in on the Ravens. Panthers versus the Saints. I'm going to give Saints the head. And Panthers is going to... No, 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 no. My PTSD is working up on me, but you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Forget it. I, I I can't think anymore. But the Saints is going to be the head, and Pat is going to be the tails. Just live with it. There you go. Colts versus Bengals. I'm going to give the Bengals the position of the head, and the Colts could be the tails. Broncos versus Falcons. That's a ride or die. I'm going Falcons all the way. That's a ride or die. Jaguars versus Brown. I'm going with Brown to be the head and Jaguar to be the tail. Uh-oh, another ride or die. The Lucky Lions, which I don't know how in the, how in the hell are they winning some games. Or yeah, they have lost some games, but I don't know how in the hell are they winning. Uh, some of these games, and me and the judge, uh, me and Chief Justice have been talking about this, but I don't know how the hell are you winning these games. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I have no earthly idea. But anyway, I'm going to go ride or die with the Bears. The Bears. That's who I'm going with. Ride or die. Double down. This is the first afternoon matchups on Sunday, December the 10th. We're talking Seahawks versus 49ers. 49ers will be the head. The Seahawks will be the tails. Vikings versus Raiders. And it's one of my official teams. So, I hope Las Vegas can get to be lucky because the Raiders is going to be the heads. And it's one of my official teams. And the Vikings is going to be the tail. In the most difficult matchup, and I still can't get over the Broncos uh, uh, blowing defeat over the Dolphins, the 70 to the, a lower score. I still can't get over that. But all because they play in L.A., the one of the teams has so many teams, it's like it's ridiculous. I'm going to have to go all in on the Broncos. All in. Oh, God. Wait, really? Really? Oh, yeah. The uh, the Broncos, uh, uh, Broncos uh, LA team, uh, game is uh, 325, by the way. And that 325 is going to be a huge double down. A mega double down. Because I'm talking about the Chiefs. 
I'm a Taylor Swift and Kyler K, uh, Travis K. Why do I keep calling him Tyler? Why? What is wrong with me? Why the hell am I calling him Tyler? It's Travis. It's Travis. Why am I keep calling him that? I do not know. <sighs> These flashbacks, let, let, let go. Please go. These flashbacks. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, so this is going to be a mega double down. I'm going to go with the Chiefs. With the, the Chiefs is the uh, heads and the bills at the tails. That's the mega double down. Okay. Eagles versus Cowboys, and that's going to be another double down because that's uh, the another t uh, Taylor Swift team. And don't kill me, Travis. Uh, uh, Travis K. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. I already had that happen in, in the dream. Uh, that you was a bully, and um, and I was a kid in school, and you bullied me. But anyway, anyway, I'm going with Cowboys at the head. And Eagles at the team only because the Cowboys playing in the state that I live in. That's why. Oh, oh yeah, and that's for one of the prime time. Uh, one of the prime time matchup was the seven twenty p.m. And I forget because again, I'm having a flashback today, and I'm going through so many crap. It's not, it's not even funny. I am vulnerable in this sim. I'm vulnerable, vulnerable. Packers. Versus Giants. This is another double down action. I'm going to go with Packers. Yeah, I'm going to go with Packers and uh, at the head and the Giants at the tail. And this is backwards. How are they saying uh, 715? Oh, yeah, this is the Monday game. Okay, there's two Monday games. That's why. Okay, okay. Okay, I got. I got uh, I got caught off guard. Oh, no, I got caught. Okay. So there are two men in that game, and they're both seven fifteen. Choices, choices. Titans versus Dolphins. I'm gonna go with the Dolphins at the head and the Titans at the tail. And that is your predictions for week fourteen. Of the NFL pickup. And let me see where I am on my time. Okay, it should be good. But as you know, uh, we lost Norman Lee. I'm only going to uh, read you part of the story because of time and situation. Uh, okay. Uh, Norman Lee, uh, Norman, Norman, Norman Lear, Norman Lear. Uh, producer of All in the Family, The Jeffersons, and also Good Time, Dead at 101. Okay. Uh, Leah produced several major hits on television during the 70s. Uh, normal, uh, Norman Leah, Leah, one of the most pro, uh, profile uh, producers in television history, has died. He was 101 years old. This is coming from ABC News. I will link the source on the marquee.